Coming up on Action News, we're at the brand new Qdoba here in Richland, where they've got a whole bunch of new items on the menu, including their featured knockout tacos, which have a brisket or tequila chicken in them. They've also got smothered burritos, your quesadilla burrito, and also a gumbo, which I didn't even know was on the menu. So we'll give these a try and see how they make them. But that's all to come on Action News. Good morning, everyone. We are out in Richland this morning at the brand new Qdoba in town, and they're serving up a whole bunch of new menu items that not a lot of the other Qdobas have. So I'm here with one of the managers. His name is Gary. He's going to tell us a little bit more about the tacos he's making today. Awesome. So we start off on our Kamal. Um, all our tortillas are uh, freshly made on the Kamal. Um, so they come in raw, and we cook them nice and fresh and warm for everybody. Now I'm going to bring in two uh, tacos today. Sorry, that are uh, brand new to the West Coast. Uh, first ones are Low and Slow, and the other ones are Drunken Yardbird, and they really showcase all of our brand new meats. The first one's this tequila lime chicken, so it's our regular adobo chicken, with some tequila lime sauce on there, as well as our uh, big heaping portion of barbecue brisket that's going to go on our Low and Slow. I like the um, creativity of all these tacos. They know? are, and it's really a different flavor than Qdoba's had in the past. And so the people that do know us, they're going to be blown away by these barbecue flavors Absolutely. mixed with the freshness of the uh, uh, coleslaw and the pickled onions, and then this drunken yard bird, everybody's favorite hand smash guacamole, on top of that with some cilantro and minced onions, Yum. and we have a taco that's all ready to go. All right, let me get in there and try one of these guys, it looks so good. This is the this brisket. This is the low and slow, okay. this is one of my favorites, and so you'll get that nice fresh barbecue flavor with the uh, vinegar from mm. the onions, delicious. Mm -hmm. You can smell that smoky. Yep. Brisket, like, oh my gosh, that's so good. <laughs> and the tortilla is even like, you know, very, very, yeah, it's a exactly. Brand new thing so, oh my gosh, so good. You guys got to try out this taco here, the knockout tacos at the Qdoba in Richland. Toss back to you guys in the studio. Good morning, everyone. We are out here in Richland at the brand new Qdoba here. I've got the manager, Gary. He's going to make a signature burrito for us, which is a make your own burrito along their line of uh, tons of uh, toppings you could put on your burrito. Um, first off, uh, we always start off with our rice. Uh, we have two different types of rice our adobo seasoned brown rice and our cilantro lime rye rice. That's one of our uh, favorites. If anybody knows Qdoba, um, they know about our cilantro lime rice. And so I'm going to go with that Big one. Big scoop of that. Yep. Yeah. Um, our two different beans, we make these fresh daily black okay. beans and pinto beans. So um, I like the earthy taste of the black beans, so I'm going to go there. Mm -hmm. Tons of different meat options today. Yeah, so look at that. tequila lime chicken, our regular adobo chicken, shredded pork grilled steak, ground beef, and then our brand new brisket up there. I'm always a steak fan. Can't go wrong with that stuff. Yeah. So, that got a nice lime chicken is, is great, really too. It's really good. Yeah. It's on those tacos. Mm -hmm. and so Now our favorite item is our sauce, and that's our queso sauce. Our regular three cheese quesos are original. Uh -huh. We got some hotter options for the people that like to turn it up a notch, okay. but um, if you're brand new to Qdoba, let's go with one of those regular quesos. Okay. Now the salsa bar, you get to add anything that you want to on here. Guacamole, sour cream, all inclusive. So okay. anybody that wants that big scoop of guacamole, it's right on so there. All inclusive means you don't have to pay extra you for your favorite for ingredient, guacamole. guacamole. Anything like that. Yep. So then you wrap that up and it's wrap as it big up. as a baby, yeah. and then <laughs> you can eat it. <laughs> wow. That is great. So, yeah, come here, make your own burritos. You can top it with anything. They have peppers here, too, lettuce, tomatoes, and a whole bunch of meat options to choose from that are brand new to this Qdoba. So, we are out here making burritos. Toss back to you guys in the studio. Everyone, we are here in Richland at the brand new Qdoba in town. We're making a whole bunch of menu items that are so delicious. So, I'm here with Gary. He's one of the managers, and he's showing me a smothered burrito. So, take it away. So, smothered burrito, it comes with our rice and our beans inside there, which I already got those in there. Now, we're going to add our meat. Um, today, I'm going to go with our uh, slow roasted pulled pork. So, a nice big heaping in there. I see about six or seven different options of meat. Can you yeah, talk a little do. bit more about that? And so, we have all our two different types of chicken our pork, the grilled steak. Um, ground sirloin, as well as our brand new barbecue brisket. Oh, yeah. And so, tons of different options. Now we get to smother it, and this is what's really fun <laughs> okay. about the smother burritos. You get to douse it in some sauces. Right. Um, any one of our three cheese queso sauces, as well as our savory queso, which is our tortilla mm -hmm. soup and queso mixed together. So you get to choose which one you want to smother it in. So whatever you're feeling. You can actually multiple ones oh, if you want okay. to as well, too. So Yum. people get adventurous. Yeah. Our smoky chipotle, which has got some nice heat to it. Bold red chili is more of a mild. One of my favorites is a brand new mango tequila smother. Ooh. And so it's got our habanero salsa in there. Okay. And it really goes well with a lot of our lighter meats, like the pork, like the chicken. Okay. So we put a little bit on the inside. And then we're going to roll it up. And then make it nice and tight. And then we're going to put some more right on top of it. Wow. And from here, we put all the veggies on the outside. So like the other burrito would go on the inside, we're going to do all the veggies on the outside. Most of them were with uh, pico, cheese. Oh, that looks beautiful. Some lettuce. 
and then we'll finish it off, make it nice look, or look nice and pretty with a nice drizzle of sour cream. There you go. I've never had one of these, but it looks absolutely delicious. I'll have to give that a try. But for now, we'll toss it back to you guys in the studio. Good morning, everyone. We are here at the brand new Qdoba in Richland, right off of Queensgate here. I've got the manager, Gary. He's going to tell me a little bit more about some of the ingredients. So earlier we made a big burrito. We got some of their knockout tacos and some smothered burritos. But we also have a gumbo here, which I didn't even know was on the menu. So can you talk a little bit more about the gumbo that you guys serve? So gumbo is kind of a hidden one. Not too many okay. people know, to it, know it about it or order it. Uh, it's one of my favorite items. So it starts with the base of our rice and our beans, either our cilantro lime or seasoned brown, and then our black or our pinto. Then we use our tortilla soup and smother it in there. This one's made with chicken. Um, however, it's a great vegetarian option because it's a nice hearty meal, but you can get rid of the chicken. And that's one nice thing about all of our menu. Most of it's build your own, and so you can really have that option of a vegetarian or vegan option. Mm -hmm. Most of our yeah, options go. Got there. really good flavor. You can taste that like fiesta flavors. Yeah. You know, all those spices, and it's a little bit spicy too, so yeah. it's really good. Then you also have a quesadilla here, which um, grilled quesadilla. It's always yeah. popular. Uh, everybody loves a quesadilla. This one's made with our grilled steak. Um, nice hearty flavor but one of these will fill you up in no time yeah, absolutely. so it is pretty big they use a humongous how big are the tortillas that you guys it's use a, it's a 13 inch tortilla 13 inch yep tortilla. that is crazy so you also mentioned that all the guacamole and sour cream um, does not come in at, at an extra toss it's all inclusive so everything's free the only thing we're going to charge for is extra meat um, and so if you want that burrito to be even bigger have at it mm -hmm. All right. Well, you know, we made so many different items here. You could come here and pick and choose whatever you'd like. We got tacos, quesadillas, the gumbo. Of course, the signature burrito that weighs like a baby here. <laughs> it's pretty heavy. So lots of good food here. We're at the Qdoba over in Richland. We'll toss it back to you guys in the studio.